In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a technique where you can cause words to appear on the screen in titles in conjunction with regular motion on your video clip. In the clip that you see here, we're going to watch a hammer drive a nail into the wood. And what I'd like to do is every time the hammer hits the nail, I'd like another word to appear on the screen. So what we're going to do is show you a brief sample of this kind of action, and then we'll show you how to create it. The first thing I want to do is I need to locate the places in my timeline where the hammer is striking the nail. And so I'm going to start about here and then we'll find it. There is my spot. I'm going to move back a little bit. And it's hard to find that exact moment. So I recommend using the comma key to move back a frame and the period key to move forward a frame. So if I move like this, right here is the frame I have, and I am 7 seconds, 19 frames into the project. I want to mark that. I'll right-click on my white triangle and do Add Timeline Marker. And since my memory is not the best, I'm going to write that down. So I have that at 719 or 720. And click on OK. Now we're going to play again. Here's our second one. I'll stop this. Move back here. And now I need to use the comma key and period key again to have the second blow right there. OK. And that's 904. I'll right click and add another timeline marker at 9.03. Click on OK. Now we'll play again. And I have to back it up frame by frame. That looks like a good spot right there. I'll right click and add a timeline marker and I'm at 10.17. So you see the process we're doing. I'm clicking OK. I don't have to give it a label. We'll play some more. And now we have to back up a few frames by using the comma key. And I'll right click and use another one. And there it looks like we're at 12 seconds even. So what I like to do is set my timeline marker. And now we're going to add some text that will appear every time the hammer hits the nail. So I'm going to go into my title room. I can press the F7 key or click on the icon. Drag down the simple My Title onto a higher level track. And I'm going to start this in line with the first hammer blow there. Double click on it. And I'm going to type in my first word. It'll be work. And we'll have it come in up here. And then I'm going to move forward. Now, we have two kinds of timers on the left side. One is the time code of the clip. The right one is the time code of the entire project. I want to use the movie time code. And if I look at the notes I took, my timeline marker, and if you forget, all you have to do is click on OK and hover over it again. My second timeline marker is 903. So I'll double click again and get into my title designer. Click anywhere else and we'll set a second title. And I'll use until. Put this over here. And then I'm going to drag in, make sure my second timer is here for my time code. I'm going to drag over to 903 
and you can see we're at the right frame here. Click on OK. And then I can double check the third one. It's 1017. I'll go back into my title designer. We'll add a, another one. I can just click with the mouse. The. And we'll move it up here. And then with the correct timer, we're going to go to 1017. And it looks like it should be right there, too. Sixteen or seventeen, either one works. Click on OK. And if I didn't write down the numbers, all I have to do is hover again. The next one is 12 seconds into the project. So we'll get back into our title designer and click and start another word. And we'll drag this up. And we need to move it over according to our timer. 12 seconds into the project. Click on OK. And we could finish with more words. You could do it by multiple words, single words, any way you want. And so, if I back up a little bit, we'll watch how this looks. Work. Until the job is finished, exclamation point, done. That's how you do that kind of timing when it comes to working through a project where you're trying to have your titles, your words or phrases come in in line with some regular movement on the screen.